refugee transit centers to settlements in West Nile. The problem of overcrowding is evident. Numbers are so high that should there be a lapse in sanitation, a disease outbreak could occur. Safe water is one of the ways to control such a likelihood. It is a big challenge to provide water to more than 750,000 refugees in a dry area like West Nile. One of the most visible items in the camps are the plastic water cans by the road, at the tanks and boreholes, wherever water point is situated. A number of humanitarian agencies have thrown in their weight to solve the water challenge, but the cost and sustainability of the solutions being implemented have themselves led to another challenge. Boreholes are drying up on a regular basis. And experts are continuously searching for places with a richer water base to dig more boreholes. Such places are rare, but when found, they help to save and sustain life in the camps. World Vision has resorted to sinking wells with motorized solar systems that can pump water within a radius of six kilometers. It is initially expensive. The high initial cost is there because of such a huge facility you've seen. The pump can last for 20 years. The solar system like this, they manufacture a stock of 15 years. One such well that can pump up to 14,000 liters of water in one hour costs approximately $600,000, or about 2.2 billion shillings. This well at Maji settlement in Ajiman is the latest to be constructed, and some 13,000 people in the settlement and the host community are benefiting from it. World Vision has done a similar project in Moyo district. This effort aims to fulfill the global standard of 15 liters of water per refugee daily. This water is shared uh, between the host and the refugee. For the host, we've ex uh, managed to extend the pipeline through the settlement and it has gone outside. A water project like this one is constructed to exist permanently, although settlements might close sometime in the future. Sustenance is crucial. We ensure that every water point which we have established has a water committee and there is a sustainable plan, sustainability plan both by the Office of the Prime Minister and the UNHCR who are committed to ensure that as much as the settlement is present, that water is running. These water committees include residents in host communities as projects are shared on a 70-30% basis. But as a result, there are benefits that come with hosting refugees. We have a 30-70% percent intervention. The services we give 30 percent goes to the host community and 70 to the refugees. That's the number one benefit. In addition to availing water, World Vision under the water and sanitation program is constructing latrines for learning centers and communities. Providing such amenities needs funding. But as we are shifting from emergency to stabilization, we need much more than that. That's where now we have a challenge, the, the biggest challenge. We need a lot of funding now. Humanitarian agencies are currently struggling to raise funding as the influx of refugees continues. A place to live, health care, food and water remain key in all settlements, and the money to avail them must be found to avert any likely crisis. Frank Walisimbi, NTV.